switch the view. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Brink of Speed and Octane Hour. I am here at Corvette World with Corvette World Rob. And today we have a very special episode. We have a 2012 Centennial Edition to show you. We have four C7 Z06s with Z07 packages. We have a very special C7 Z06. We have two of them with manual transmissions. And we have six C8s plus Robert's car is in here as well. So lots to talk about. What we're gonna do, the format of this video is, we're not gonna do the normal stuff that we do in the studio. We're gonna get right to the cars. We're gonna start with the C6s, go over every single car that's in here. So even though there's a low inventory here at Corvette World, we have a phenomenal inventory. So we're gonna go over all those cars, We'll take our time, that way you guys can see them very, very nicely and well in this live. And then we are going to go over to Robert's desk and finish up with some Q&A. And you guys can ask us whatever you want about these cars or about the ZR1 or whatever, and we'll discuss it at that point. Uh, first off, really quick, really, really quick off the bat. Obviously, look, we appreciate everybody uh, being here tonight. And those of you that watch this video later, Obviously, a lot of crap going on in the world right now. You know, prayers for our nation and the world and its allies. Um, thank you for being here, We're taking time off from all the crap going on to be here today. Absolutely. A little decompression. So right so, off the bat, um, I was going to say, we might as well address the elephant in the room. Mike put on there a Z06 for 60 k Unfortunately, that one is not here in my showroom. It is in my Houston store. In my Houston store, you know, as you know, we can uh, sell out of both in inventories as we work as a team here. So I'm gonna highlight this vehicle. It is a 2016 3LZ Z06 Coupe. It is... Um, I think your phone is on. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down. Ah! Hit the wrong button. It wouldn't be alive without, an, without a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Sorry, and he even told me that. See, look at it, I already screwed up. All right, we got, a, we got it down in my Houston store. 16 or red on black, 3LZ Z06. We got it at 59995 with 51,000 miles. If you all remember about four months ago, we had a Shark Ray Metallic video that we covered. Obviously you guys loved it. That video is uh, rocking to number one. Uh, so for those of you that were looking for a Z06 in this price bracket, we have one now. You could either buy it straight from Matt or Russell down in Houston, or I could take a deposit, move it up here. Either way, we work as a team. Yeah, if you guys wanna take delivery from Robert at the famous Corvette World Dallas location, just put a deposit down on it, ask them to ship it up here and they will for you. That way you can come here to this location and take delivery. All right, let's go I had go my uh, neighbor Mark moment. All right. <laughs> and right. uh, happy birthday, Mark. Let's get to the very first car that we're gonna look at tonight and that is a 2010 C6 Grand Sport. Now, who doesn't like black? All right, let's kick it off. So. Yes, 2010, it is a 3LT Grand Sport Coupe. It has six-speed manual. Oh, wow, nice. Yep. This car here actually is a return. We sold this car, me and Eddie sold this car back about, I think it was about five, six years ago. And he came back and traded it for, if you remember, we had that 2003 Z06 with only 3,000 miles. Oh, yeah. He had had one before and he wanted to return back to that, so he traded this beast in. It was well cared for. He changed out the uh, stock radio head unit for a Kenwood Exelon system, so it's got a modern updated infotainment. The, the front, if you can see here in, with the line, yes. it is clear broad. So you do have a clear bra on the front. It is classic black on black, chrome wheels with the manual, so you can't go wrong. And uh, for those that don't know, any uh, C6 Grand Sport with the manual transmission, if it is a coupe, comes with what they call the Z52 dry sump package. So this is the one way you were able to get the LS3 with a factory dry sump oil system. Well, that is a beautiful car. It does also, as you see, it does have the MPP exhaust as well. And for all of you chrome wheel lovers, it has chrome wheels. The chrome rim shine. What's that? The chrome rim shine. That's right. And this beast here is 36995 show them that 
By the way, real quick, if you guys haven't done so yet, please smash that thumbs up button and let us know what you think of the sound. We have our mics on that we've had on before. They seem to be working great. So hopefully you guys are hearing us crystal clear. I'm sure they are. I mean, they heard me through the phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they heard ourselves. That's right. All right, let's kick it off with another one here. Keeping up with the dark theme here, now we got ourselves. right here, look at this, guys. <laughs> look at this. Beautiful Centennial Edition Grand Sport. And that one is. So obviously, those of you who have been with us a while, you know the Centennial Edition commemorating Chevrolet's 100th birthday in 2012. This here obviously is a 3LT convertible. Like all Centennials, it comes standard with the magnetic ride. This is an automatic. It has the suede seat inserts, wrap steering wheel, and shifter with the red stitching. Uh, previous owner added this nice uh, wind restrictor here. Oh, yeah. And it is an illuminated one. It does have oh, a control nice. that can illuminate. Um, I've currently, when I turned it on, it was illuminated red. I don't know if it has the multicolor, but I haven't been able to fiddle with it yet, but I know it definitely can illuminate. It also, he also installed the uh, fan favorite mild to wild for the MPP exhaust. Very As you know, cool. MPP manual controls didn't exist in the C6. They would right. just open up on acceleration. So a lot of people figured out when you pull the fuse, you can open them up. So aftermarket kicked in and said, hey, we can put this little thing in there to open and close that oh, circuit yeah. with a switch. So it has that. It has the factory nav, DVD nav system. This one too also has a clear bra protected on it. And it does have the carbon fiber Ooh. ZR1 style. Very nice. Front splitter and side skirts. Heck it is yeah. not OEM. This is not was not on the factory. This is an aftermarket, but nonetheless, with the wide body profile, it fits it perfectly. Oh yeah. It's also got a nice set of all season tires as well. And now as you can see, these are obviously not the factory wheels. This is factory uh, reproductions, uh, the company that makes these uh, replica wheels. It is in the OEM spec size though, with the uh, proper OEM center cap. And they are of course based on the C7 Z06, Z06 style yes, in black. Yes. Yeah, in fact, look at this. Here's a C7 Z06, there's that wheel, and there's that wheel. Very similar. And red calipers. I mean, this is just a beauty. And obviously those of you that are fans of the Carbon Flash 70th, you know, this one is a perfect one for the collection. Oh yeah. Low mileage too, 2012 and only 15,400 miles. And we got it at 47,995. Awesome. What a beautiful car. As I've stated before in my videos, the interior in these anniversary edition cars are absolutely phenomenal. And with the C8 Anniversary Edition, they just made it even better. Yeah, so Exactly. So again, it. I've got an automatic convertible and a manual coupe, both beautiful, well, black and a metallic black. I can see the carbon flash. Both have clear bra, both immaculate. I mean, if you're looking for a good C6 Grand Sport, I got your picks here. Yes, sir. All right. Going up, we're doing this actually in order of year. I, I ordered them, so nice. and, so we're doing it in order of year. So next up is a 2015. We just got this one in. So it hasn't been through detail yet. They did a quick wash, but not detail. So if you see some spots on it, those will be gone within the next couple days. So I saw Peter Carey was on here. Mm -hmm. He's gonna love this bad boy. All right, so this bad boy <laughs> here is a 2015 3LZ Z07 seven-speed manual coupe. It has the full visible carbon fiber stage three aero package. It has the suede seat inserts and the carbon fiber interior package as well. And guys, look at that. A Z07 with a manual transmission. Woo! Gotta love it. It's got a fairly fresh set of meaty tires on it. You obviously the full stage three. And I mean, look at it. It's a it's a total Batmobile with the red caliper. So just a little bit of breakup, but other than that, I mean, you see it. It's another That's black right. beauty. <laughs> Peter said, "Oh my Lanta, it's a stick." Yes, oh, it, it is. It's got the carbon fiber interior as well. Yes, it does. So it's only missing the uh, the uh, seats. The com seats. Yeah, the com yep. seats. Yeah. Beautiful. And again, we just got it in. 19,600 miles is pretty low for a 15, and we got it at 71,995. Awesome. What a beauty. 
And guys, if you're looking for a Z06 with the Z07 package to make sure you get those huge carbon ceramic brakes, look at that. Huge carbon ceramic brakes to keep these black wheels nice and clean and a manual transition uh, transmission. That's your car right there. And All then, right, next up is another return. This car and here's what's so interesting good. about this beast. Me and this one go back a little way. So my first month here in June of 2016, when I first started working here, Eddie was over there. Eddie had just sold this customer this Z06. My That's first right. week here at this job. And this customer here went ahead and paid somebody to do a $5,000 full body clear bra over the entire car. And they did it right there where my C4 is currently parked over there, right next to my desk. So for four and a half hours, I watched them do this. I had never watched a car got clear ball before. I was thoroughly new to did. the experience wow. and it was done. Most of the clear ball is intact. Some of the panels have been taken off over the years because you know it got chewed up. But uh, most of the, if you can see the front and most of the clear ball yeah. around the car is still intact. Another thing is with this, of course, if you don't already know, it is a C7R special edition. As you know, they commemorated the Corvette racing team in 2016 after they won championship in 15. This is number 321 of the 650 produced. They are all three LZ Z07s. This particular one is an automatic. It does have the competition seats. And um, the previous owner also installed a $3,200 built-in passport escort radar detector. Oh, wow. And the original box is on the inside. And he also did this other feature here. Where, and I've seen these online where you can take the uh, factory airbag. And again, it doesn't affect the airbag oh, yeah. at all. And look at that. It's uh, black suede yeah, that's with the beautiful. yellow stitching that kind of matches up. Obviously, this is a little newer, so it creates a contrast. But nonetheless, it's a nice touch, especially with the amount of suede that the C7R gives you. I agree. And I've always loved the emblem on the top there. Yep. In a satin finish. I just want to show everybody. Obviously, it's, he's also got the Lloyd floor mats, and we do have the box with all the original instructions wow. and whatnot for this beautiful radar detector, which is very good when you got a very bright yellow car. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, as you all know, it is a Z07 package with the full stage three aero. It does have the mud guards already installed. And as I mentioned before, the majority of the clear bra is still intact. It has been taken off the deck lid. It is still on the roof panel, Targa. It's still on the rear fender panel here. And he does have it on this uh, side skirt as well. So it has been removed from the mirror. But if you can see, it did its job because there is not a single rock ship on this mirror. Oh, yeah. So, but the front, the full front is still intact. And he put the yellow on the Z right here. Now, when they did this thing back in 2016, he did have the clear bra piece actually on the vent. We actually cut it around the back. It is gone. But if you can see, there's not a single mark in it. And the C7R, you may notice, notice how it's not carbon flash. This is spectra gray. Yeah, yeah. The C7R was the only vet to get the Spectra gray right. in the vent accents. Right. So again, gorgeous car. It is higher mileage, but again, it's extremely well kept. High, higher mileage is 39,250 miles, and we got it at 69,995. So for a rare C7R loaded out, I mean, you can get one at 70 grand. Yeah. Can't go wrong it's for 115.5 MSRP. That's right. So I got a question. Greg Lee, General Lee, it sounds like you may be moving up to the C8 ZR1. Is that what I saw in the comments there? <laughs> Let us know. All right. Next up, I got another Black Beauty and a Z07. This one here is an automatic. This one here we've had for a couple days now, not long, but this one has been fully detailed. You can see it's like glass. It does have the visible carbon fiber stage three arrow yes. as well. You know, so we've got a pattern here. I've got three Z07s, all three with the visible carbon fiber. This one, of course, is also a black on black. It is an automatic, but this one is a 2LZ, not a 3. Oh, okay. It does have the visible carbon fiber roof Targa here. So oh, you do nice. have that. It's a nice little upgrade. You go hand-in-hand -hand with the aero kit. Yeah. Now we see the black wheels with red calipers. So very similar theme, but this one here is an automatic. It does have the visible carbon fiber interior package as well. I see that. That's beautiful. This one definitely has lower mileage. It only has 9,736. And low mileage car. Again, another Z07. 
Yes. With the big old carbon ceramic brakes. So take your pick. I got a 15 in a manual and a 16 automatic. Now that one's a three, <laughs> this one's a two, but again, all the main features are almost identical. Stage three, visible carb fiber, carb fiber interior. Right. Again, this one here, 9,700 miles with, uh, for 74,995. And this one's a 16. Sweet. And if I'm not mistaken, no, this one did not have the clear bra. Okay. This one here. I love the yellow calipers. This is the unusual. Usually you see red. This one, he went with yellow. So yeah. I, got a, I got another 2LZ with the Z07. This one is a manual. So this one's a seven speed with the carbon flash stage three aero kit with the carbon flash mirror option. But it has, as you can see, it has the visible carbon fiber hood stinger along with the visible carbon fiber target top. Yes. So it's got the matching carbon fiber down the center line. The previous owner, if you look inside the uh, little jams here where you stick your uh, fingers to open it, it has carbon fiber accents. The inside here, as you can see, it is the adrenaline red interior. You can tell it's a two because it doesn't go on the passenger side of the dash, but it overlaps the driver. And, and another a manual. manual. And a manual. Love it. And it is the comp seat car. This has got the comp seats. Yes. And there's that carbon fiber on the handle. There's the beautiful red comp seat. Um, Trevor's wanting to know if I would know what his Corvette Z06 would be worth. I think that's going to be a call for Robert. But well, maybe... as you know, I have to defer to the ownership. You know, I'm not right. I'm not the one who gives the bids. Um, but Trevor's is highly modified, so I uh, I know with his I probably have to take it over to Hot Rides. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a 2016, 23,000 miles for 73. What a beautiful car. I love the white. It is interesting that they went with yellow calipers, but I still do love that look. Those really stand out really, really nicely. And, and the Continental tires. Yes, this something. one does have the, you know, again, I didn't cover too much on the tires. Um, obviously, we had a couple with the all seasons. This one here has the Michelin Super Sport. This is the one that's got the Continentals. Sure. So we've got a diversity here. You've had the Continentals and Blue Fur. Yeah, they're, yeah. the, they're the one non run flat option. Yeah, and they're great. Yep. All right. Now, obviously, I know some of you types out there have been starved. There's no chrome wheels since, since that first car. <laughs> well, don't cut it out. Our last CO6 here does have chrome wheels. Now we have covered this car before and he might be watching right now. I actually got a customer that's inquiring on this one right now. So this one might finally be going home. But Real quick, guys, we have 265 people in here. Let's do some more thumbs up, please. It please. really helps YouTube yep. understand that you guys are loving this video. All right. Oh, and for the record, Trevor, your car is absolutely sick and awesome. Okay? Oh, yeah. All right. But Phenomenal. normally we just don't deal with the uh, modified cars. Here, right, so, right, yeah. right. All right. Just don't want to think Trevor think I'm dissing his car now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 2016, it is a 2LZ with a seven-speed manual with only 5,000 miles on it. And we got it at 72,995. And look at these beautiful chrome wheels with the red Chrome color. wheels, super sport tires. Yeah. It does have the... Um, factory um, mud guards. Stage two side skirts are installed along with the stage two spoiler, but he still kept the stage one Guys, front splitter. Another manual? Another manual. Oh my gosh, look at this. Another manual. Beautiful. So three Z06s with manuals. manuals yes. Two automatics, and then of course I had the manual there. Yeah, so I got some. I got some manuals, guys. Now is the Z06 down in Houston for sixty grand? Is that a manual or an eight a, speed? I believe that was an automatic. Let me double okay. check, make sure I didn't. Because that would it. be even crazier. Yeah, let me double check. It looks a lot like this car only. Yeah, has it's an the automatic. Black... It's an automatic. It's an That's what I thought. Okay. I was like, it's an automatic. Yep. Awesome. So again, I got some nicely loaded out options here, guys. That's right. I mean, what I really do. do. Think, so if you um, guys know anybody. You know, send them, send, them, send them my way. I mean, you know, usually I don't get a nice crop at the same time like this. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, this is an unusually hard loaded crop. I don't have any bases. Notice they're all loaded out, you know. And once we get over here, I mean, literally, they're pretty much mostly loaded out too, except for the sure. one. And even the one still got some nice upgrades. So you guys let us know in the comments down below which Z06 you like the best. And let's move on to the uh, C8. Yes. We'll start over there with the okay. red and we'll finish on the black. Now, 
we need to start some of these cars up. Well, we definitely got to start this one because that one is unique. Okay. I won't lie though, of the, you know, again, these two here, this white, this red one, that white one are probably the two best bang for the buck C8s I got. This one here for you convertible lovers. Okay, we got torch red, black interior. It's a 2LT Z51 mag ride, front lift, carbon flash mirror spoiler and carbon flash roof in the cells. That is a very good loaded too. And we got 7,200 miles on it and we got it at 85,995. Now, a lot of these, I've been looking online at car gurus. a lot of the comparable cars have been closer to the 90 range for this loadout for a 21. So, I mean, this is a very good bargain that I got in the room here when you look at the loadout. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. GT1 it seats. It does have the factory mud guards installed as well as the composite side rockers and of course the front splitter. Sure. So again, 2021, 2LTZ51, 7,200 miles for 85,995. All right, next up, I've said this before in the last video, and I'm gonna say it again. This is my favorite C8. This is one of my lotto cars, okay? This here is a 2020 3LT Z51 mag ride, front lift, blue dipped interior, visible carbon fiber roof, engine appearance package, edge red engine cover, trident wheels, red calipers, boiler exhaust with MPP multi-mode capability. How the heck is this thing not sold yet, people? Yeah, I mean, this has got the best I mean, interior I mean, out I mean, of... I, what, what's the lottery up to, 1.6 billion now? I mean, if I win it, I mean, I'll drive this home. I mean, I get it, I mean, maybe it's waiting for me. But, I mean, come on, folks. Oh, and I even forgot an option. It's got the carbon fiber interior. So, I mean, this thing is loaded. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right. Nice. Look at that, the carbon fiber roof, the engine appearance package. Yes, I mean, I mean, look at this. It's beautiful. I mean, this thing's loaded out, and it has the, uh, the liners, the, the all-weather liners. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. High wing. High wing. And uh, you ready to blast their ears out, Mike? <laughs> yeah, let me get over here. <laughs> let me get over to this side. <laughs> You guys right. ready to hear an awesome exhaust? Here we know. go. Contact. <laughs> what do you guys think of that? That sounds amazing. <laughs> now, is that AWE? That is Borla. Oh, Borla, okay. Sweet. Sounds now, amazing. as we all know, Keith is not a fan of the Borla because of the uh, how complex they made the pipe system. AWE is definitely a nicer system as far as simplicity. But I will say this, as we've been learning down the grapevine, it seems Borla, they, they gotta get broken in a little bit. And once they break in, they stop throwing check yeah, engines. Yeah. We have not had any issues with check engines on this thing nice. whatsoever. So, good. and it sounds good. It's got the mild to wild feature and they're chrome tipped. That's right. With fat round pipes. So, I mean, it <laughs> looks good. This is a beauty. Come on, somebody find a home for this thing. <laughs> or buy it for me. I want this one. Yeah, let me just zoom in on this, <laughs> on this price tag again. 9,600 miles for 81,995. Looks like a good deal to me. <laughs> All right, next up, I got another red beauty here. This one is a 3LT Z51 convertible. It does have the front lift. It has all the body color features instead of the carbon flash. And it does have the GT, I call them the GT3 just for simplicity, but it's a competition bucket seats. And love of course the all GT. the Napa leather and the suede. Yeah, I love the bucket seats. It's just a very clean, classic. It does have the uh, standard silver wheels. But again, it's fairly low mileage too for a 21. It's only got 2,800 miles. And it's very clean. And we got this baby here at 89.995. Yeah, low miles, 90 grand. And if you look up for the mileage on this one, typically they're usually been ranging about 93. So, you know, I mean, again, we're about three to four grand under where you normally see these things. Sure. So this one's aggressively priced as well. All right. Now, before we jump to this one, I got to skip one because remember, I'm trying to do this in your order. We called a couple 21s hey, and a 20. Hang on one second. They want to see the inside again. Oh, sorry. No worries. Let me... Uh... Sorry, we were a little fast on this car. I didn't yeah, mean yeah. to be. This one has, as I mentioned, the competition seats. Very clean. Napa leather all the way through with the light gray stitching. 
Yeah, it's a really pretty car. Mm -hmm. And again, front lift. It is a Z51. On and this one has the body color, obviously mirrors, nacelles, roof panel, sure. and spoiler. So not everybody likes the black. They prefer the cleaner look. Uh, Daniel BC says, how many Jetstream Blues C6 ZR1s are made? I'd have to get my black book. Sorry, you caught me. I'm not that good of a cyclopedia. Uh, off the top of your head, how many do you think? Um, <laughs> Jetstream Blues ZR1s. So you figure 2009, 10, and 11, three years. I'm going to probably what? Maybe 300 total, maybe 400 yeah, total? Yeah, 400. I'll find maybe. out. We'll, we'll see how close I am. We'll do it. When we get back to my desk, I'll whip out the black book. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have the photographic memory. <laughs> I can remember a lot, but I can't remember everything. All of us don't believe that. You do have a photographic I memory. I do not have a photographic <laughs> memory. Just ask my wife, all right, who I love very much, okay? All right. All right. We're going to skip this for a second because I'm going to try to keep this in a semi-year order. It's so beautiful, order. though. It is. I'm coming back to okay, it. There's a reason. Right, okay, right. it's a 21. Okay, that's a 23. Okay. Let me try to stick. I mean, this is beautiful, too. All right. This is... Now, this one here, oh. if you look, notice, it, may, it has not been washed. We literally just got this in about three hours ago. Okay? So, it just came off, but I want to cover it because it is bad, 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 bad to the bone car. So, this one here is a 21. 3LT Z51 convertible as well. Like the red one over there, it's got the carpet flash, roof nacelles, spoiler, and mirrors. It has ACS 5W8 replica yeah, yeah. aero kit and the ACS mud guard and carbon flash installed. And it's got the edge red calipers. Yep, edge red, which is perfect with the red mist. Yes. And since it is a 3, it's got the Napa Slade, the GT2 seats in adrenaline red with the red stitching throughout. Now notice how they did it. They didn't do the dash. See that? See how the dash? Oh yeah, yeah. Is still the black. They have that option where in the two, you can get it to where the, you don't have the red on the dash. You just only have it in the seats. Sure. So, but you get the red stitching in the three. I'm sorry, this is the three, not the two, excuse me. Um, so, you know, again, it was optional to have them either way. Awesome. It's beautiful. And, yeah, and this one does have mag ride and front lift. So and it again, does have the carbon flash nacelles and mm -hmm. roof. Which and is it's got the carbon flash wheels, machined edge. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this one here, it's got 6,400 miles on it, and we got it at 88,995. Look at and that. He, and again, we just got it in. I did post it to the website about an hour and a half ago, and uh, we'll have the pictures up tomorrow once we get her cleaned up. All right. You had to get that out of the way again. We kind of skipped. We went 21, 20, yeah, 21, yeah. 21. Okay, now to the 23. Should we leave? Should we leave the white one till last? No, no, no. It's a 23. No, well, black is one. Okay. All, all right. right, all right. All right. <laughs> all right. This one right here is my least loaded in the room, but it's actually the lowest one of the lowest mileage ones. This one here is a 23 one LT coupe, 700 miles on the money. It's got the 20 spoke black gloss black, excuse me, wheels with the black calipers. This car was ordered with the Stingray R appearance package. It has the center caps, it has the side badging, but for but whatever they, reason, the owner elected to leave off the center stinger. Yeah. And again, those are dealer installed. We did not get the decal kit, so unfortunately we don't have that. It does have the composite side rockers and front splitter. And it does have the Z51 style high wing spoiler. Yes. Now, this car looks sick, and out of all my cars, this one has the high, highest upgrade wheel, because this, you know, the 20 spoke is the, the, premium, yeah. the most premium wheel. So ironically, my most base car has the best wheel package. <laughs> and it, again, white on black, you can't go wrong with the contrast. Again, 700 miles, and we got it at 75,995. The windows are tinted, you notice it does have dark tint, so if anybody's interested in their state where, you know, tint's an issue, obviously we, we can have that tint removed. Hey, uh, Ever Jeff came through and said 464 Jetstream Blue. So I was, ZR1s. I was in the range. I knew it was in that vicinity. <laughs> I awesome. knew it had to be, and I know there were not, there, 2011. There weren't a lot yeah, at yeah. all. You know, those are 2011s are coveted. Now, guys, real quick before Robert says anything about this black car, just look at the stance and tell me if you don't think I can, I can fit my whole head in it. <laughs> it looks like a four by four without that front splitter. This thing looks gigantically and, high. And the, it does have lift and it's not, but it's not up right now. Yeah, look at that. I mean, you look at that and then you look at that and the side view is even worse. You look at the side view and you're like, 
I mean, it's crazy how but, high that looks. But again, there's a huge positive to this. Some of you have high driveways. Some of you are worried about ripping up your splitters yeah, and yeah. undercarriage. Of course. So this car here has the front lift. Yeah. And it did have the plastic composite. It wasn't destroyed. They just pulled it off because all the screws are still in here. Sure. They just pulled them off. You can easily attach a splitter to it. But they took it off. Yeah. So if you take it off, look at the level of clearance you have. And you have the front lift to go up another inch yeah. and a half. So for those of you that are worried about the clearance on these cars, you have an option. You could take off the front splitter if you got the front lift and look how much clearance you got. You got quite a bit. And guys, this car has to be one of the most beautiful black C8s I've seen in here. I love the carbon flash wheels. I love the red calipers. Of course, the black tip exhaust. 2023 exhaust. Yep. The black spoiler, the big high wing. It's a convertible. And then look at the beautiful interior. Two-tone red. Oh my god. Got the gosh. GT3 comp seats with the red. With the red suede. stitching. Now see this one's a three as well, but see how the red now accents the dash around the edge? Yes. Whereas the other one, it, it was only on the seats. So again, yes. you had the option to go either way. Absolutely beautiful. Guys, we've got 330 people in yeah. here. Smash that thumbs up button if you have not done so yet. Okay, so now I did have a copy of, well, a miniaturized copy of the window sticker on this one. So this is a 2023, 3,500 miles. Um, again, front lift, mag ride, loaded like you see. MSRP was 96,195. So we are right on top of the yeah. MSRP. Okay, so again, they've come down enough. People wanted them right there. So again, a little bit of mileage, you're still pretty much right on top of where you need to be to be in close. They're not 10, 15 over anymore. Right. So, you know, again, so talk about the video. You know, have the prices come down? Yes, they have on the C8s. Have they bottomed out? No. And then the fear is, will the strike affect things and will the prices go up down the road? We don't know. We'll see, because right now, as you know, the strike's still ongoing with negotiations pending. So, but so who, as they sit, right now, it is a it is more buyer friendly market right now. Who wants to hear some more exhaust? Oh, we gotta we gotta start a couple more cars for. Okay, all we right. We got Z06s. We got Z06s. And we've got. Do we have any aftermarket exhausts over here at all? No, but we do have the MPP, so at least I could show them the contrast. Okay, let's do it. All right, so let's do the C6 first. And I might as well show people how the aftermarket Mild to Wild works, too. That's right. Because, you know, I have had people ask me about this, and some people think that that's a factory option. It is not. Right. It is aftermarket. Right. So. so we're going to start up the 2012 Centennial Edition Grand Sport. Oh, there's the, there's the Mild. All right. So if you want to go, go wild, you go off. Oh, Bam. yeah. See the difference? And then back on. I love it. Oh yeah, you can tell a huge difference. So if you don't want to wake your neighbors up, you buy the mild to wild, turn it on mild while you're driving out of your neighborhood, and then wild as soon as you get on the highway. Here. While we're at it, Mike, let's do this really quick, just for people's FYI. This is how it goes. Right under here, the floorboard, you got a fuse box. And see, right here, DC's wires. This is the fuse spot for the MPP. You, this is, again, this switch essentially opens and closes the circuit to this makeshift nice. fuse. That's how it works. And then the, it, the assembly is uh, actually right over here. That's how it mounts. It's just a simple system. It mounts in there, and it opens and closes that fuse circuit. That's if you don't have simple. one of these, but you have an MPP C6, if you want it loud, you can just pull the fuse. Sweet. All right. <laughs> Peter Carey said, if it ain't a neighbor hater exhaust, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we got to start. Up, let's man. start the C7R. We got to do okay. the C7R. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, all the Z06s sound phenomenal. All right. Ready? Yep. Now right. show the uh, tour mode. All right, back to tour. There you go, there's how quiet that goes. Back to sport. And there 
sport. And as you can see here, I love it. Hey Mike, check this out. So you see as the engine idles out, it gets smoother as it warms up. See this? There's your passport oh, nice. radar detector with Let me your zoom info. In on that. that is awesome. Heck yeah. yeah. So it's right there. It's not like up and out of the way. It's right there. And the control, the controls for it are right here. Under the they got it mounted to the right side of the steering wheel. See this? Oh yeah, yeah. Here, see? let me come over to the other side. See that? Let me uh, let me zoom here. in on that. Here, I, I got it. Okay. I got it. All right. Here, let me move that. Yep. Right here. Nice. So you can mute it. You can turn on your volume. You can mark destinations. The instruction manual will go through all the features. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with you. The LT4 sounds phenomenal. When I had my Blue Fury, I never considered getting an exhaust on it because I said it's loud enough. It sounds phenomenal. Stop. And, and again, we got to keep this in perception, guys. So. C8 Z06, obviously he's a phenomenal car. You know, shout out General Lee for letting me drive his. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Same. But again, let's keep this in mind. 670 horse, 470 pound feet of torque. 650 horse, 650 pound feet of torque. Oh yeah. 060, 2.9 versus 2.5, okay. Quarter mile, 10.8 versus 10.4. Okay, you're still a 10 second car. And again, oh, yeah. now this has the full stage three arrow. That's going to slow it down. But if you right. go stage one or take off all the side yes. pieces and the spoiler, it is capable of top speed of 205. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's still a 200 mile an hour beast. supercar. It is a beast. And let me tell you, there's been some roll races. We've seen them. Now, the C8Z06 does defeat this in the quarter all day long. The launch control is amazing. But what's interesting, because of the torque and the roll race, I don't know if you guys have seen them online, they're about even. <laughs> the more horsepower is offset by the better torque. So they're about that even. So oh, again, yeah. you're, you're not, you know, and again, you know, right now a C8 Z06 is gonna cost you from 150 to 200 grand. You know, you can get one of these for 70. So again, you can't, you yeah, can't you beat can't, the bargain. You cannot beat the value of that car right there. Even if you pay 80 grand for it, you're getting a beast. It is a supercar. And you will see as soon as you own one, how much of a supercar it really yeah. is. Yeah, they're very close. The, yes, the C8Z06 is superior. No questions asked. Sure. But the gap right. is, is like the gap between this and the C6ZR1. They're close. They're right. within, they're all within fighting distance to where if you have a good enough driver, you can probably trounce the other. Right. So, all right. And you got your beauty in here. Let Look me, at uh, the 1992 C4. <laughs> I, uh, hey guys, didn't Trevor do a phenomenal yes, job he did. turning this into a mirror? So you figure he detailed this, what, a year ago now? And it's been a while. And all I did was do, I've done nothing but just basic washes and detail sprays. And look Has at this. Has it really it's, been a year? It's been about a year. Yeah, you figure oh you guys surprised me. I cannot you and, believe how You fast, guys surprised me. So. I can't believe how fast time flies. And, it really has been about that long. And I'm forever thankful, seriously, you, know, you guys for doing that. Darren, if you're watching, seriously, thank you. Trevor, thank you. All it right. Says, Let's go. As you can see, <laughs> my bracket is fixed. Oh, yeah. I, uh, they couldn't save my ECU, so they had, I had to get a refurbished one. And this one is from the ECU Exchange. Let me come over here. And I want to give a shout out to these guys. They're in Florida. And these guys, they, they have a handful of cars that have difficult to get ECUs, Vipers, these Camaros, I mean, you know, cars from that that early, late 80s, early 90s era where it's hard to get ECUs for some of these cars. Yes. And it isn't just GM. But what's nice about these guys, their process, they test them on it. They have a test vehicle there. They put them in. They run it through cycles. They run it in different conditions. They drive them to make sure that ECU is right. They don't just refurbish them and send them in a box. Right. That's why it took so long because they spent a month working on my old one trying to get it to work. But it turned out, they found out after doing some research, because it kept throwing error codes, that mine was part of a batch in 92 that had a bad soldering oh issue. Oh my gosh. And, and it couldn't what get it luck. fixed. So what they did is they transferred my, my chip that has the basic car data out of it into this one. And I, now again, unfortunately it's not transferable for whenever I sell this car, but it is, if, if I keep this car long haul, I got a 20 year warranty on this. That's awesome, man. So yeah, so shout out to ECU Exchange in Florida. 
And also shout out as always to my guys over in service, especially Keith. Keith worked on my car again. I now have a green high flow air filter. Oh, it's nice. not a, nice, it's just nice. a box drop in, but I have noticed a little bit of a difference. It is running way better now. I remember I had a little bit of shake yeah. in the idle. That's gone. It's Sweet. gone. It pulls great. Everything, and again, I had I just did a fresh oil change on it. Everything else has been done. I mean, it runs like a top. The only thing I'm waiting on is the one tire sensor. Now, a lot of people are saying, why are you bothering with tire sensor on a 30-year-old car? Because it's me, okay? <laughs> and I, and I, that light is on, and some people pull the bulb. That bothers me. I want the sensor. That's so right. I'm waiting on the sensor. Once that's in there, we'll be good to go. So, Everybody loves your car, Robert. Everybody's giving you huge compliments. Thank you guys for the wonderful compliments. He Seriously, has a it, beautiful C4 Corvette. I, uh, oh, yeah. He's LT1. got the little yeah. badge on there. Look at that. Everybody wants that badge. You can't get them anymore. I got this way back in 19, it's 2004 um, for my Chevy Caprice LT1. For your Caprice. Now, that was white. The badge was white. I had to have it repainted to match this car. But, yeah. So, that's, so even if one day, whenever I sell this car again, if I sell it, <laughs> um, I'm probably going to keep that badge. That badge is sticking with me no matter Peter what. Peter Carey says, do a roll race with something, maybe even a Volkswagen. Well, we were talking about that. Um, you know, I uh, there is actually a roll race pending with Mark in his 78. No, just kidding. He won't do it. He won't do it. <laughs> I have a feeling actually, that 185, or no, I think it's got 200 horsepower, is going down. Yeah. Well, here's another thing. I, I think, um, Mike, I think uh, maybe a dig race with the manual Camaro, even though you got the power, I think I could take you. I doubt it. Oh, I think I can. I think I'm going to get the you off the line. manual Camaro with 455 horsepower? I don't think so. Oh, I think I'm going to take you. I don't think so. You, know why? you, know you why? guys want to see that? We'll do it. Because I, uh, I had a little, well, you know, again, I'm not encouraging Keep you to Keep a speak. secret. Okay. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I know we got to go to Mexico. It's about an eight-hour <laughs> drive. But you know, here, here's the deal. I uh, had a little fun with uh, a Camaro uh, the other day, and I and I held them. Oh, nice. I held them till 110. So. So you're talking about the four-cylinder? No. Camaro. <laughs> no, it was not a four-cylinder. <laughs> it was not a four-cylinder. I wouldn't be I'm talking kidding. smack about a four-cylinder because that's kidding. obviously a joke. Come on now. <laughs> All right. So we have a little bit of time left. Let's get to. Your guys is instead of staring at me, I'm like you're keeping the camera on me. They're just staring at me as I'm fidgeting around doing this. Let me uh, <laughs> let me get this set up. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a minute for me to get. Okay, this. while he's doing that, I'm gonna give a shout out to a uh, personal friend of mine. If she, I don't know if she's in here tonight, she uh, makes stickers. If those of you are video game fans from the '90s, remember Twisted Metal? Oh yeah, I do. She has a store on Etsy. Let's pull this back. Up. And um, if she's here, she'll make a comment in there. If not, I'm sure she'll put it down in there. She does make these, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's one of many diff different. So she's got Twisted Metal 2 as well. I was a big fan of those games back in the day. This is the 90s, PlayStation 1. Oh, sorry, Mike. I didn't get oh, you a seat. Good. And here I am just taking I a seat. I see how you now. are. I'm sorry. I, I'm a total <laughs> jerk this time. The last time I'm giving right, him the seats. back so we can look at the comments. <laughs> All right, let's start answering... <laughs> What do you guys think? Yep, sweet did, tooth, CJ Clones. CJ Clones knows. But yeah. <laughs> did you guys enjoy the walk around today? We had 13 cars. Believe it or not, Corvette World only has 13 cars. That's it. And we actually started yesterday with eight. We were able to Good obtain gosh. the others uh, in rapid succession here. We're trying to get more in here. Um, and like I said, I got I got one in back that's about to go, and I got uh, deals working on two others. So uh, we need inventory. So if you know people are looking to sell cars, I know right now it's a goofy market. You know, you're seeing price all over the place. But like I said, we're trying to be as aggressive as we can. You know, give us a shot. At least give us a shot. You know, we'll do, you'll do the best we can. If you've given a shot, you didn't like the bid, appreciate the opportunity regardless. Again, we can't make everybody happy. We can only do what we can do. So how much has the uh, market all around for Corvettes cooled down in the last couple of months? Well, you, you know, right now for for us, it's not really been out of the uh, bounds of what we normally see the decline, you know, for going into the fall. Mm -hmm. September has historically, except for one year, in the seven years I've been here, six out of seven years, September has always been a slowdown month. People are going back to, kids are going back to school, people are busy. You know, they're coming out of the summer. You know, it, it always generally was a slowdown month. However, last September, 
uh, despite, you know, me, you know, my, unfortunately, Jim got hurt is, you know, he's right. been out. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's supposed to be back in here tomorrow. Again, I'm hoping he's uh, well. Um, you know, I had to pretty much carry the load here, you know, with um, but myself here. I was still able to pull out a decent month, you know. So it was like September were. was we had like a good start, a very slow middle and then a really rapid finish. Yeah. So. It, it's hit and miss. Like my it, it, September though is always goofy like that. It, it always is. October historic. I've been looking through. We've had out of the last seven years, we've had two slow Octobers, and 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 maybe one extremely good October, and then the rest have been fair months. So and part of that goes in tandem with the inventory because even when we had better inventory, we would clear it out by you know by September we would clear out inventory and then we'd have to start stocking up through the winter months. So. Generally speaking, I, as far as the store goes, I'm not seeing too huge of a difference. Now, okay. as far as other places, I've heard a lot of dead zones where we've had, like, we've had entire, like, weeks in the last three months where it just you goes dead. Like, you just, sure. like, where'd everybody go? Nobody's shopping. And then all of a sudden, boom, it picks up again, you know? So, I would, the, my word is, it's choppy. But remember, I'm in a special market. I'm right. Corvettes. I've talked to people at Chevy dealers. Um, we are, of course, floor plan through Friendly Chevrolet. Um, they said they had a very slow midsummer, but when I was there last month, they said they were rocking. They were rocking, and it was picking up. So even though you know interest rates and the economy is what it is right now, um, it's hit and miss. But I will say this: EV market. Oh, it's is going down. way down. Yeah, yeah, oh way, way man, down. they are starting. To... Now, I will say <clears> this: <throat> it depends also where you're at. I mean, here, if you're, I've talked to the dealers in the Frisco Plano area, they're still selling okay. Okay. For the low-priced uh, EVs, the Bolt is mm -hmm, actually still mm -hmm. selling pretty well. But I've got a friend over at Mercedes in um, over here in that area, and he told me that the EVs are flat on their face. They're not selling. They're just me. sitting around. People want engines. They don't want electric motors. Right, right. So. Okay, so let's now give something away. Okay. So we need a question. We need a question. Well, we dang it, question. you caught me off guard. I no, I can never <laughs> catch you off guard. All right. Okay. Um, um, let's see, what could a good question be? And I'm going to give away, obviously, it's going to be another random giveaway. Um, been doing that week after week, and it's working pretty well, so... If you win, you'll just email me your shirt size just in case I decide to send a shirt. Mm -hmm. But you may get something else or you may get a shirt and something else. So Yeah. All uh, right. So okay. How about how many miles are on your car now? Oh. How does that sound? Okay. Well because Tell that, them how many miles were on it when you bought it last year. I had uh twenty seven thousand three hundred when we bought it. Okay. So you guys in the comments, let us know how many miles are on Mar uh, Mark's, oh my gosh, Robert's, <laughs> uh, Robert's yeah, 92 C4. Mark, C4. <laughs> All I did was one mistake, one mistake, and they already <laughs> sell me neighbor market. Now, guys, for you bidding way under what he just said, he remember, he said 27000 when he bought it. Mm -mm. So... Mm -mm. Nope. Nothing yet. Write it, hey, write it down right here. Okay. Show me, show me. Okay. How many miles? I have no idea how many Give miles. Give me my pen. Yeah, yeah. And I sorry for the noise if I bang my mic here. One second here. <laughs> and uh, to answer the earlier question, um, as far as my favorite vehicles, like my favorite vehicles I love to have die casts of, I'm going to say Johnny Lightning. But as far as the favorite ones to collect and hunt for, Hot Wheels still. Although I will give Matchbox credit. They've really stepped it up a lot in the last two years. Okay. Um, there's a Hang few on, there. before you do that, write it down just so I can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Yeah, there's some close ones. There's some close ones. This one's pretty close. Yep. Uh, okay. All right. Sorry, just backfilling, just trying to make sure we're on top of it. Uh, oh, there we go. Wait. Oh my gosh. Him again. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we got a winner. We'll type in. Yep, we've got a winner. Okay, so. <laughs> oh crap, wait, wait, wait. No, okay. no, no. Oh, I hit end, but this guy slipped it in, so let's see here. 30. 
Uh, who's closer? 769, 7, 84. Oh, he's still closer. Which one are you looking at? Um, I was looking at him. 789, and then go down? And he was 784. Oh, so he's actually closer now. Oh, he is closer. Yeah. Right. Now where's end? Oh, end is after. Yeah, that. he beat it. He, he slipped it, it in there. So that is so crazy, Tra guys. Check <laughs> last this out. Second. <laughs> River Mutt, who won last week, his name is Michael, by the way. He almost won again this week, but right before Robert typed in end, track speed, which is uh, Joe, Joe Lamb, actually typed in. Uh, so let's tell them the numbers. Yeah, let's go back here. He River Mutt is 30,784. Is track speed. Yeah. And then River Mutt was 30,789. 30, yeah. And uh, if you, for those of you that follow my uh, Facebook page, um, if, you, if you saw, I posted a little video of me uh, starting it up. And if you watch that video. Will you see the mileage? You'll see the mileage right when it starts up. Oh, good. Yeah, you see it's uh, right there, 30,507, 30, yep. but I put 100 miles on it. I'm at 30,600 miles. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. It's uh, Joe, I, I always want to call him Joseph for some reason. Joe Third. Lamb is your winner. 30,600 miles is what I'm at right so now. So congratulations, Joe. So I put in a, in a year and a month and a half, one year, one month and a half, I put uh, 3,000 miles on my car. So not quite a garage queen, but not heavily driven either. Uh, you, know? you guys are cracking me up. <laughs> so, but All right, uh, good night, great Caleb. Guess. Yeah. Thank you uh, for joining tonight. Thank you, Caleb. Really appreciate uh, it. Yeah, we've had a wonderful crowd tonight. Good Thank you me. guys so much for joining. Do you have any questions for us before we take off we got about nine minutes left in this live yeah yeah come on let's throw some questions uh, just throw them at me we'll try to answer if we can't robert not... jr neighbor mark okay if <laughs> and, uh, mark definitely has more hair than me at my age all right <laughs> jeez i made one mistake and peter carey <laughs> says that's high mileage according to neighbor mark <laughs> yeah 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 really high mileage hey hey mark if you're watching this you need to bring the uh, pace car out here this saturday so just a reminder we have our oh, yeah. corvettes and coffee this saturday and we have the eclipse now well here in uh dallas uh fort worth we get 80 percent of the total we're not getting the full total you got to be out near um lubbock to get the full total eclipse but we're getting 80 percent coverage on the sun and you know we're our show is 9 to 11 they said it's gonna be at peak around 11 30 so you're gonna see the sky shifting you know and uh we need red alert out here with his uh, uh, telescope i was gonna say we, red we, alert if you're watching you jason know jason where yeah jason please bring your telescope with yeah, the filter yeah. if you can that would be so sweet oh, if yeah. you can watch that so they want to know how fast you've been in your car. Well, I beat my personal record. Okay, I, I did a little eight-hour drive to Mexico, and I got her up to a buck fifty even. Sure. Top speed on the uh, well, depending on the depending on the elevation. Um, everybody says the top speed on the LT1 C4 automatic with a 4L60E ranges between 163 to 171. So I'm just gonna round that, you know, cause we're, we're pretty flat here. I'm gonna go with uh, 170 and just say it. So you figure I'm at, I hit 150, that's my personal best. Again, went down to Mexico, middle of nowhere, nobody around, so. So Peter Carey wants to know what my favorite Corvette out of the C8s, no, actually excluding C8s, would I pick and it has to be a manual that's very simple. If it didn't have to be a manual, it would be the C7Z06, the C7R. But since it has to be a manual, it's going to be that white C7 Z06. With the yellow calipers With and the, the red yellow calipers. Comp seats, yeah. Comp seats and mm -hmm. the uh, carbon ceramic brakes. Okay, uh, hey, Doug, um, are you past the six months yet? You got to be past the six months or else he won't entertain it. C8 Z06. Yes, Peter, 150. I hit 150. About to die some ACS accessories. CA. Can I have them shipped to Corvette World for install? Yes, you can. You need to call our main number. Um, you know, nine, if you, you can replay this. 972-446-8388. Ask for chance or service. Anybody in service, Jeff or Richard. And set up an appointment and tell them what you're trying to accomplish and they'll help you out. No problem.
So Doug, it looks like you're saying you're going to get rid of your 60th anniversary. Is that what he's saying up there? Yeah, he was asking about that. Again, Doug, I, it's got to wow. be past the six months. Since he bought it? It's got to be there? it's got to be past six months in service day then they'll then they'll entertain bids. But no, again, I'm talking about I'm talking about his C6 Z. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, duh, I'm in it. I I don't know why I saw C8. I'm sorry. Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, C6. Yes, we would definitely be very interested. But wait, wait. He said Wait, what is this? C my C8 Z06 3400 want a C6. Oh, I misread it. He said C8 up here, but then he said C6 Z06. So are you seriously going to get rid of it just after you, I mean, you just bought that car. Yeah, right? you just bought it. I don't know why. I was thinking of your, your 70th. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I totally misread that. My bad. I need more coffee. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> at the end of my day here. So. Oh, he's saying his C8 Z06 is at 3,400 status. 3,400 status. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My apologies. Yeah. Thanks, General Lee, vehicles. Does your up. price bid take into consideration shipping for seller's location? Yes, it does. Yeah, we have to. Usually, we'll give you a bid and we ship. So, Doug, yeah, we have to take that in consideration. Um, if you want to hand that over to me, the the uh, 60th anniversary, I'll gladly put that in my garage for you. Okay. Luke Walker says valves redone on C6. Okay. Okay, keep in mind, that's a 13. If you have not modified that car in your past 15,000 miles and you've had no issue, you're not going to have that issue on the valve guides, especially on anything 08 or newer. Okay, you know, the valve guide issue was overwhelmingly due to people modifying those LS7s without doing the beefier components. <laughs> All right. Come on, Doug, don't laugh at me. <laughs> Consider it. I mean, look, General Lee just asked you. Look at General Lee, you can store yeah, it in my garage. You can store it in his garage. You could store it in my garage. I'd be happy to make a, amazing a, 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 content for you. Am's dad must be behind. He threw in a mileage on there. Yeah, yeah. I'll Mike, make amazing oh, C6 Z06 60th anniversary content for you. Brave Boy wants to know, would you prefer a C7 Z06 or a Camaro CL1? Oh. Man, the C7 Z06 is just... Uh, I don't know though. If I have my choice between a Z01 1LE and a Z07 Z06, that actually would be very difficult because that Z01 1LE is so amazing for track. All right. It'd be hard. Uh, to answer track speed, what is top speed? A C6 Grand Sport versus a uh, C8 Stingray Coupe. Both cars are top speed is somewhere between 180 and 190, depending on elevation conditions and, of course, the quality of fuel you have. <laughs> Thank you, guys you Doug. Are both cars great. <laughs> yeah, most typically, most people, you know, on average, you would say they're probably mid 180s. Um, but I've have heard people get into the 190s for both the C6 GS and the C8 Stingrays. Again, it also depends on how much arrow you have. The more arrow, the more downforce, the slower. Some people are throwing Z06 arrow kits on their Stingrays. That's going to make it more stable because it's pushing down on it. That's downforce. So that's better for stability, right. but it, it slows you down. It drags you. And another thing, too, some people like to throw out that uh, video that came up on YouTube way back in 2015. I showed a, a Z06 you know, hitting um, a top speed of 185 and it really stagnating out. If you look at that video, look at the mileage. It's got 100 miles on it. It's not even broken in. It's not going to hit top speed. Also, what was the arrow kit on it? Again, elevation, arrow, arrow slows you down. Okay, oh, you yeah, want top time. speed, you need to be stage one arrow. Yeah, okay? yeah. You need to drop all them wickers, you know. <laughs> Look at what Poon Poon Smith said. Any dealers taking deposits for C9? Actually, I do <laughs> well, know of one dealership <laughs> oh, no. that has a C9 list. Oh, they Lord. haven't taken deposits, but they have a C9 list. Hey, Stacy Dale, you have a great night. Yep, you guys have a good night. So I'll let Nicole, that wrap. Night cool time for General Lee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll let that you know, wrap you should, things You gotta be up. careful, don't get addicted to that stuff, all right? <laughs> you know, there's, there's other alternatives I can refer you to. <laughs> so thank you guys. Thank each and every one of you for joining us tonight. We had an awesome time going over the uh, C7, uh, C6s and C8 inventory at Corvette World. Um, give it a big thumbs up if you have not done so. If you're new to this and you didn't know this, every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, we go live. It's called Octane Hour, and we'd love for you to join us every Wednesday night. So 
If you haven't joined the wonderful Brink of Speed community, make sure to smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications up. when new videos are uploaded. I hope and, uh, oh, go really ahead. Quick, really quick. Uh, Bossa Nova, I think they're going to hold steady. Just to answer that question, I think they're going to hold fairly steady. There may be mild depreciation, but I don't think they're going to go much lower, so long as you keep mileage down. Um, also, once again, thank you, Mike, for taking the time to be here oh, late. Yeah. Thank you all with everything going on so in the world fun. right now for being here with us. Uh, please, if you're in the DFW area, the great area, you can make the drive out. Please come out on Saturday. I'm whipping out the pumpkin spice. I promise that. I'm going to do that for the coffee. And um, we got the eclipse going on. Like I said, um, red alert, please. Please <laughs> bring that thing out. Yeah, I'll please. Ask Jason if he can bring that thing out. And once again, thank you, everybody. I'll let you All wrap right. it up. You guys have a wonderful rest of your evening, and we'll see you on the next Octane Hour.